This morning in The Modern Parent, there are many children who are struggling with saying goodbye to mom or dad when it comes time to go to child care or school for the first time. This morning, we are joined by Tracy martin Turgeon from the Children's Workshop, here to help us with your child's transition just a little bit easier. Maybe ease that anxiety so they're not so freaked out when it comes, it's, comes time to go, right? It's really true, Will. Um, some kids have anxiety, but a lot of kids just have that anxiety just of, like you said, going to school right and communication is really the key so if your child's a little little tight you want to just reassure them that you're going to come back maybe give them a picture but if your child's old enough going to a public school or a middle school or high school you want to sit down and open that line of communication you're going to open up dialogue that you really wasn't sure that your child why they have this anxiety because it can really set the tone for the whole year. It can be a great year or it can be a miserable year for you as a parent who's just heartbroken or just even your child itself. Exactly. If you're just telling your child it'll be fine, it'll be fine, that's just kind of repressing that mm -hmm. anxiety. So sitting down and just asking them, why do you feel this way? What is going on? And that might open some dialogue that can help you dig a little bit deeper. It might be surface or it might be something really serious. My sister so stood in the, in the window every single day of kindergarten and cried I know. because she was so upset. And it happens to everybody. It does, but once the parent leaves, all of a sudden the child interacts and they're fine. Whether they're little or they're big, they beat people and they start interacting. Right. So it does get a little bit easier. Right, okay. Also one of the things too, not just for kids, but for everybody, sleep is so important. Oh, my goodness. This is really, really important. So if a child has already has anxiety and then they're not sleeping, that's just going to topple on right. top of that. So kind of sticking to some routines with sleep and having those chi your child on a routine, whether they're in high school or not, is going to make them more prepared and ready and and not have additional anxiety because they're really cranky. And teachers also can make all the difference in the world by putting putting an end to that and helping out. Well, yeah, so the parents, the teachers, talk to your teachers, find right. out what's going on, have the teachers greet you. If you can't go into the school, talk to the teachers and say, what's going on right here? You know, what's happening? And then ask the teachers, is there anybody that I can talk to? Is there another parent here? So meeting up with different parents and having those little play groups or kids getting to know each other when they walk in they see a familiar face right. that kind of eases even if they're not in the same classroom I know that person yes so it kind of eases that anxiety a little bit more right. and, and parents really you know what do you say to your kids sometimes you're heartbroken for the kid themselves or yeah. for your little one themselves well you do and sometimes children don't want to go to school mm -hmm. and the parents give in they're like all right I'll send you to grandma's or I'll keep you home or you don't have to go to school right. but that's setting the wrong example you want to go back to the communication if your child's older and ask what's going on so if they don't want to go to school and they're older there might be something underlying more or bullying going on so you can find that out right. also but if your child just doesn't want to go to school because they want to stay to you yeah. that's kind of setting the wrong example you want to kind of coax them in and letting them still know it's going to be okay and set those examples it happens for everybody it's the fear of the unknown even for older kids maybe in a school one school and then having to transfer to some other school it's the fear of the unknown it is the fear and you know you're teaching them you're setting them up for life because starting a new job is really insane. Sure. for people even adults but teaching them this at the small ages and while they grow is going to prepare them for real life things yeah. and make them feel a little bit better right. as they get older yeah change does happen all right thanks so much Tracy You're very for well. coming on the show this morning and for more info on any of this please visit theroadshow.com